It's a matter of days now before the Bibby Stockholm arrives in Portland with 500 men on board. Once they're on the barge, these men can come through these gates here and immediately they're in Portland itself. They're immediately in a residential area. They're now part of the community, they're part of the health service down here, and that's the problem. There's no point in having an asylum process and check to be, make sure people are safe in the country, not wanted for anything um, heinous in their own country, um, if you don't use this. You know, they'd be given first priority to healthcare, transport, all the things have been taken away from us. In an email seen by GB News, Portland's GPs say the migrants will have complex health needs and will need translators, doubling appointment times in an area already stretched to breaking point. Portland Port, as a, as a business, is absolutely despicable, completely immoral. So they have done a deal with the Home Office under the table. Nobody knew about this, not even our councils, apparently, uh, until it was signed, although I'm not sure how complicit they are, um, because they seem to have just rolled over and accepted that they are coming. Never answered the second question. In a fraught meeting last week, they addressed their concerns. They want to know why Portland Port, who they say stands to make a fortune from this, hasn't asked them what they think. Their silence is deafening. They are saying nothing. They were the only party that did not turn up to the, to the public forum meeting, and that speaks volumes to me. They need to be held accountable. And the people of Dorset won't give up. We will fight this. In a statement, Portland Port told GB News, we appreciate that there are some genuine concerns among local people. A great deal of work is taking place to ensure that the Bibby Stockholm is operated in a safe, secure and successful way, both for those on board the vessel and in the local community. Well, last week, the Archbishop of Canterbury lent his support, calling for a proper consultation with the locals. But no sign of that consultation. All the residents can do is look to what's happened elsewhere. They're looking at Newquay, where anti-fascism protesters were bussed in, calling the locals racist and fascist. Those words, those terminologies are never on my mind. And yes, the community or those outside the community may say them, but we're simply looking at resourcing for the area, a lack of resourcing. If it was women and children and families, we wouldn't need a barge because Weymouth from Portland would be opening up their homes for them, like we did with the Ukrainian refugees that came here last year. So there would be no need for a completely unethical barge. Portlanders are now compiling an open letter to their MP, Richard Drax, demanding he work with them to stop the barge. They're determined to succeed, but as every day passes, that's looking less likely. All they can do now is steal themselves for what is to come. Jeff Moody, GB News.